Okay. Figure before starting this video, I'm gonna have myself a little yum yum. No, I'm not eating this in the video in front of you. Um, I'm at Lincoln Park. I'm in, I think it's number two for the series on nature in the city. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get like a squirrel or something for a critter. I've walked the park, I've got some color change, so I've got a couple landscapes in mind that I wanna do. It's not a very big park, not much to it, so this will be a quick video. And then after this video, I'll probably do next week's as well. And that one's gonna be the hard one where I walk the neighborhood streets looking for nature photography somewhere in the neighborhood. I know it can be done. Don't be discouraged by being in a big city thinking there's nothing natural out there to photograph. You can do it. And that's what these videos are about. When in the public park, and you have food, whatever, be responsible, okay? So, I'm gonna try for three photos. I'm gonna do a landscape of that tree, and there's another one down there that I thought looked, looked nice. And then I'm gonna go to the other side of the pavilion, sit a while, and see if I can't get a photo of the squirrels that were playing down there. See what happens. For this video, I decided to limit myself to just the kit lens. You can of course do whatever you want. As I'm looking at this, trying to compose a decent composition, getting a little bit too much of the park lot, you see along the back, you'll see some of the street and stuff. That doesn't really matter. I mean, it's still not a half bad landscape, but I think I can do better. So I'm going to look elsewhere in the park, and we'll go from there. Being a nature photo doesn't mean it has to be completely devoid of all man-made objects. Like, I think that's not a bad little landscape right there. I think it's a real pretty photo. Yeah, you can see the sidewalk going through it. and At the horizon line, you can see underneath the trees, you can see the street and stuff like that. It's life. I mean, it's going to happen. I can take the same general tree here, focus up, and just look upwards. Now you see nothing but nature, but it don't look as nice as seeing the whole tree. So that type of thing is your preference. Flip the camera sideways for this one. I've rotated it in um, Photoshop so you don't get all disoriented from me rotating the camera. I've got complaints about that in the past. Get this in focus. This tree right here, it's got some nice character. I mean, I think that would be pretty See if I can't uh, sit down for a while and find those squirrels. Right over there is a little guy. See if I can't get a little closer, maybe get a photo of him. This is when I would use a telephoto lens and zoom right in on them, but I'm only using the kit lens so I don't have much more than wide angle. It'll be interesting, but still, it's a fun challenge. I think this is as close as I can walk up on them, so I'm gonna take the photo here. I'm gonna try to get a couple different angles, maybe have less of the uh, human environment involved, but I probably won't. Oh, there he goes. I'm gonna walk over there, see if I can't get uh, a little bit more of the squirrel. Okay. Just sitting here watching them go around the playground. So, just being patient with the squirrels. That's all you need to do. So, if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave your comments down below, and by all means, please share this video. Have a great day.